Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a WordPress on Ubuntu 20.04 server. So follow along with the step by step tutorial. So start off, you are going to need to upgrade the apt packages. For that, simply open up a new terminal and type in the command sudo apt-get update and then hit enter. And then type in the password for the root user and then it is going to update all of the packages in the apt. Now if you have anything left to upgrade then simply upgrade the packages by simply typing in the command sudo apt-get upgrade and then hit enter. Now this is going to upgrade all of the packages. Once that is done you can get started with the first step. Now throughout this tutorial we are going to be using a blog post developed by cloud infrastructure services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post. The very first step is to install all of the PHP extensions or all of the requirements needed for WordPress. So simply copy this command, open up the terminal and paste in this command onto your terminal and then hit enter and then what you need to do is that you need to hit y and then wait for all of the requirements to be downloaded and installed on your ubuntu installation while all of these prerequisites are being installed if you want to install wordpress on cloud such as amazon azure and google cloud then simply check out the links in the description box they will take you to the videos on our channel now once all of the prerequisites have been installed, the next step is to create a directory in which we are going to download and install WordPress. So for that we can head on back to the blog post and copy this command. So the first command is going to create our directory and the second command is going to change the permissions of that directory. So simply copy both of these commands and paste it inside our terminal and then hit enter. Once that is done, next up we need to add in the official repository of WordPress and then download WordPress using curl. For that head back to the blog post and copy this command and paste it inside the terminal and then hit enter. After that you would have to wait for the downloading and installation process to fully complete. Now once the WordPress has been downloaded and installed, the next step is to configure our Apache web server. Yes, we are using Apache and to configure the Apache web server for WordPress configuration, we need to head inside this path forward slash etc forward slash Apache 2 sites available and then wordpress.configuration file is the file that we would create. So copy this path and then in your terminal simply type in sudo space nano for it up with the path of the new file and then hit enter. Then it is going to create this wordpress.configuration file for apache and in here we are going to simply copy and paste all of these commands to create an apache host on the local host. So once you have done that you can give yourself a server name or a server alias. So I am just going to change it to cis. Once that is done simply hit ctrl o to save and ctrl x to exit from this. After that. We need to enable the site and enable the URL writing. For that, what we are going to do is that we are going to come to the blog post, copy this command and paste it inside our terminal and then hit enter. What we need to do is that we need to restart the service of Apache. So simply type in the command sudo space service apache2 space reload. And then what you want to do is that you want to disable the default page of the WordPress. Simply type in sudo space a2 dissite and then follow it up with a space triple zero hyphen default. Now this is going to disable the default page of apache so that the wordpress loads. Once that is done we need to again restart our service so sudo service apache2 reload. Now once that is done the next step is to configure our mysql database for wordpress. So simply open a mysql shell with the following command so sudo mysql hyphen u root. Now this is going to open up mysql as the root user. Now in mysql we want to create a database for wordpress. So for that simply head over to the blog post and copy this command and paste it inside mysql shell. But rather than wordpress hyphen db I'm just going to call my database as wordpress. After that we also want to create a new user for wordpress. So simply copy this command and paste it inside mysql shell. Now you can see that the name of the user that we are going to create is WordPress DB. So I'm going to rename the username to WordPress as well. And the password is written right over here. So make sure to provide a different password and the username according to your choice. Once that is done, simply hit enter to create this user. After that, what we want to do is that we want to grant all of the privileges to this particular user. For that, simply copy this command from the blog post and paste it inside my SQL shell and then hit enter. After that, we want to specify to which database that we want to give permissions for this user. So type in the keyword on followed up by the name of the database which is wordpress.asteric. This means all of the data inside that particular database. Hit enter and then type in to and then the username. So that would be wordpress at localhost and then end it off with a semicolon and then hit enter. So now we have given all of the privileges to this particular user. After that we just have to flush the privileges. So simply copy this command, paste it inside the MySQL terminal, hit enter and after that we can simply exit from this file. 
Now once we have done that, we need to set up the connection for the database to WordPress. For that, there is a file named as WordPress configuration sample.php. So we want to change that file or create a duplicate with the name of wp configuration. For that, simply copy this command and then paste in this command in the terminal and then hit enter. Once you have done that, within this wp configuration file, we want to set the name of the database, the username that the WordPress is going to use, and the password for that database. So simply copy these commands one by one and paste them inside the terminal. Now, you want to replace the name of the database and the user. Now you might think that database name is this one but this is not the name of the database rather it's actually this one. So if you have given a different database name then make sure to replace this word with the name of the database that you have given. Simply hit enter because the name that I have chosen for my database word WordPress. After that same goes for the username. But for the password simply copy this command and paste it inside the terminal but before entering it you need to type in the password right over here in between these double forward slashes. Just like that and hit enter. Once that is done, we can move on to the configuration of WordPress. So the next step that you have to do is simply open up a new tab in your browser and go over to the local host and then hit enter. Now it is automatically going to open up the WordPress installation wizard. So choose the language that you want to go with, click on continue, then provide the required details. So let me actually maximize this web browser and then place in the site title. So I'm just going to call this site as CIS which stands for Cloud Infrastructure Services and then I'm going to provide the username for the administrator user. So it's going to be admin123 and then a password. After that provide the email of the admin user so it's going to be admin at admin.com and then I'm just going to simply click on install WordPress. And just like that it says that WordPress has been installed. So the next step is to actually log into our WordPress site. So simply click on this button that says log in. After that, simply provide the credentials that you have just created while installing WordPress for the admin account and then click on login. And there you go. You have successfully created and configured WordPress website on Ubuntu 20.04. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now again, if you want to run WordPress on cloud hosted platforms like Google Cloud, Azure and Amazon then simply check the videos linked in the description box. Other than that if you have any queries regarding this tutorial then make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.